Welcome to Introduction to Photoshop. I'm going to be working through this handout with you and so join me and I will separate this into different pieces and hopefully explain it in a way that you can understand. Before beginning, you're going to want to make sure you download the source files. There's a link there in the handout and have these three documents already downloaded and in a folder on your computer before you begin. And then we'll hop into Photoshop. I'm going to open up Photoshop. Whenever you get ready to actually create the project, you will um, create a new document. Now, I'm not going to worry about the size here for now. I'm just going to go over the terminology that's on page two of the handout, Essential Terms. So let's make sure that we're aware of what Photoshop looks like. And if you've never opened it before, it should open in this interface. And what I mean by that is you're going to see these buttons going down the left. You're going to see a menu bar at the top. You're going to see a little bar below that menu bar called an options bar. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see a variety of little words and these little things are all called panels. So these panels are objects in the program that help you monitor and modify your work depending on what you're trying to do. Um, as you double click a panel, it will collapse that panel down. Um, or if you double click a panel, it will open that panel up. So these are going to be your basic panels. Whenever you have a document, you're going to see in the layers panel a little box. That little box is what we call a thumbnail. It's a preview of the layer. And that preview shows over here in the layers panel. If we had a picture, which I'll just throw one in real quickly in here, it's going to be on its own document or it's on layer. And you'll notice that we're going to see the thumbnail for that picture right there next to it. The word toggle is used frequently. We're talking about turning something on and off. So notice here I'm toggling off the visibility of this layer. I can also toggle off anything that has a check. For instance, auto select layer. Auto select layer is what allows me to just be clicked anywhere and then I can click on the layer that I want to be on. Whereas if I have that turned off, I would have to manually click the layer that I want to work on. So that's toggle. Transform is what we call the ability to resize, rotate, and do other things. To transform, we use transform handles, which come from pressing Control and T. You'll see these handles give us a way to resize and rotate our objects. When you resize or rotate, you do have to press the check mark to commit the change. All right, additionally, we talk about hardness and softness of brushes. If you have a paint brush and you're painting in Photoshop, you have the options for hard brushes and soft brushes. This is what we call a soft brush. And this is what we call a hard brush. And you can see the edges of those brushes are very different. A hard brush has solid edges and a soft brush has feathery edges. Soft brushes are used um, whenever we're trying to blend things together in a gradual way. All right, let's look at opacity. Opacity is um, a slider that you'll find in the layers panel, and it represents the level of opaqueness or transparency of a layer. If we pull the opacity back to zero, the layer becomes invisible. And if you're anywhere in the middle, the layer becomes see-through. So if I pick this up and move it around, we can see through it. All right, layer styles is the next word. The layer styles are these things that we can add to layers. So on this layer with the bunny, if this FX button is pressed, I can add what are called layer styles. There's a whole list of them. Um, I will just add a drop shadow here so you can see. Um, as I increase the size or the spread of the drop shadow, you'll see the shadow appear. Um, but those are layer styles. And notice that they also show in the layers panel. All right, and then finally, the last term that's in here is what's called rasterize. Um, if I took a paintbrush right now, I am clicked on the layer with the bunny kit on it. Um, this layer has a funky little icon representing it's a smart layer. Uh, but if I try to paint on it, it's going to yell at me and it's going to say this object must be rasterized. So one thing to note is Photoshop creates raster images, and that means that they're images that are comprised of pixels. But when you create certain things, those things are not necessarily in pixels just yet. Um, when you use a text tool or when you draw a shape or in the case of this picture, which is technically in pixels, it's a smart object because I placed it in here. And that's important for being able to size something up and down 
and not losing quality. Once you rasterize something, you cannot make it bigger without making it lose quality. Um, likewise, if you make it little and then big again, you will lose quality. So if you ever are accidentally clicked on a smart object layer with a paintbrush, it's going to warn you about rasterizing. The answer is cancel to that question. All right, last little bit, and then we'll get into the session itself. Um, zooming, control and the plus sign. Control and the minus sign to zoom out. If you're zoomed in, sometimes it's easy to fit to screen by pressing control and the number zero. And then if you do something and then change your mind, you can undo it by pressing control Z. And that removed that drop shadow. And you can also access that under the edit menu. So those are just a few basics as far as what it looks like where things are. You're going to see tools down the left. Again, menus and options at the top, panels at the right, and then you know how to zoom in, zoom out, and you're familiar with some of the terminology. Of course, we'll get into the terminology in depth as we get into the setup of the document in the next session.